Here's my corn right off my front door. There's the tassels and so I'm kind of concerned but yet I'm excited. Let me show you why. I have two stalks there and corn is at least one ear is coming up on that one right in the middle of your screen there and then this one right there look at that and that's the corn silk so what I'm gonna have to do is shake this a little bit and have some of that stuff fall down onto the corn silk my concern though is these brown leaves here and also inside on the stock I see a lot of ants. I don't know if you can see it, but there's quite a few ants running up and down the, the stalks. Alright, so shake the top. Here. Place them on the corn silk. Sorry about the noise. Somebody's jackhammering somewhere, but I'm really excited because now we have the second ear of corn with the corn silk. So now there's two, and I'm going to have to hand fertilize that one. There should be a paintbrush in here somewhere. There's one. i got some anthers here in this cup, and I'm going to try to uh, extract some of the pollen from there. And that's why I got the paintbrush. I'm going to use the brush to get the pollen onto the corn silk. This is another thing I like to grow. I have these plants all over my house and they're really easy to propagate. All you do is cut off a stem and I have one here. Just stick it in water for about a week and it'll start to grow roots and then you just put it in the dirt. Uh, I've got these things on every floor, mostly in the bathrooms where I have windows got three okra here in this pot and they're starting to produce. I got one. Just cut one off. Let's see what I got in the fridge here. In our lower drawer. Oh yeah. Got some kiwi. This is the Zespri Gold. A little bit different from what you might be used to. It's less hairy on the outside. I'm going to cut this up and show you. The Zespri Gold, I did a little checking on them on the internet. They have a pretty good website. It seems like they just locked up a deal to start to export to North America. So you guys in the States might be eating some of these soon. This is the, the gold variety. It is, uh, when you cut it open, it's yellow, not green. As I said, a little less furry. You could eat the skin, but I wouldn't. They do, uh, Zespri does have organic kiwis as well. Um, they do a spot check with pesticides according to their website. They got 3,000 growers which are supposed to follow as green as possible uh, growing technique and that includes just uh, using minimal pesticide. These are one of the 12 cleanest fruits that you can eat. New Zealand gets lots of rain so uh, there's not a lot of water wasted in the irrigation. These things are great for you, high vitamin C. Let me show you how to eat one. I'm just gonna cut it in half like that. See how it's yellow, not so green? These are much sweeter than the green variety, that, which is kind of tart. And I'm just gonna grab a spoon and, and scoop it out. It comes really out really easy. Oh, it's good stuff. Hmm. These are almost gone. I, we had a whole bag of them. I'm just eating them up. Throw the Fruit Loops that you have, a cereal, in a trash can. That's where it belongs. You gotta be eating fruit for breakfast. We like them so much that we just went out and we bought a whole box of Zespri Gold. There are 30 kiwi fruit in this box. And they'll be gone within the week. Tomorrow is Dragon Boat Festival. Well, here we got a lot of lychee. They're out here right now, so I'm eating a lot of that kind of fruit. Love this stuff. I made a video uh, maybe a year or two ago about these. Also, there's something called the rice dumpling. Let me show you one of those. This is zongzi, or the rice dumpling. And it is sticky rice 
wrapped in bamboo leaves. And inside of the rice, they put meat in there, pork, and some bamboo. It's, uh, it's good stuff. Don't want to eat too many of these things. This is what they eat for dragon boats. There's a story about a, a famous Chinese dissident who uh, hundreds of years ago uh, had something to say about the government and committed suicide in a river. He, jumped, he drowned. People of the village did not want the fish to eat his body, so they threw rice in the river. And that's how that whole thing about the dumplings came about. We're going to watch them hit. Hey, hey, champion. Hey. That's Jeremy. That's Lawrence. We're on the golf course. Oh, that's David. <laughs> that's the caddy. This is Dragon Boat. This is so Lawrence's mom knows that he's here. Not at a KTV. <laughs> Ooh. Just found a new U bike station. This one is Jongjung Park, the kiosk. And then on the screen. If you can hear me, you can see the other stops and you can see how many bikes are left at those stops. And the bikes are all back there. It's pretty dark out. I don't know if you can see it. Pretty cool. Hey, this is a shout out to uh, Flow Wrestling. Uh, my parents had, since I've been on this island for 20 years, my parents have been sending me wrestling tapes. It used to be VHS because I couldn't get anything uh, except for YouTube videos. And then, um, I discovered Flow Wrestling. Sorry about the cicadas. Hold on. I discovered Flow Wrestling and it has been awesome. I just watched Tony Ramos make the world team and uh, that gave me so much excitement that I just had to get out and run. I'm a distance runner now and uh, you know watching these videos of uh, the sport which I was I used to be heavily involved in uh, keeps me going. So Thank you, Flow Wrestling.